In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the instantaneous current in an overdamped RLC circuit. The question reads, for the circuit shown on the right, compute the instantaneous current when R is equal to 2250 ohms, L is equal to 1.5 henrys, the capacitance is 4.75 microfarad, and our voltage source E is equal to 75.4. Now we're not told that this is an overdamped RLC circuit, although we can find out quite easily. In fact, what we will do, just like what we did in our first video where we looked at underdamped reactions, is we calculated A and our frequency represented by omega n. So we'll do the same thing here. Let's start by finding out what A is equal to. Notice that A squared is equal to R squared over 4L squared. If I square root both sides, I end up with A is equal to capital R over 2L. I'll substitute what R is equal to, and they tell us that it's 2,250. So I'll substitute that into there. And I'll substitute 1.50 Henry's into here. That will give me my A value. And also, if I want to find our frequency represented by omega n, and just to be clear, this represents the resonant frequency. This is equal to, according to this formula, as 1 over LC, and this is being squared. So if I square root both sides, much like what I did over here, I'll end up with omega n is equal to 1 over the square root of LC. So let's go ahead and find out what these are. We'll start with A. I'll use my calculator. I have 2,250 divided by 3, because 2 times 1.50 is 3. That gives me 750. 750 radians per every second. And over here, I have omega n is equal to 1 over my inductance, once again, is 1.50. And we're told that our capacitance is 4.75 microfarad. I need to make this into farads. We'll multiply this by 4.75 times 10 to the power of negative 6. That's the same thing as microfarads. Using my calculator, 1 divided by the square root of 1.50 times 4.75 times 10 to the power of negative 6. This gives me 374.6. 374.6, and just to respect the number of significant figures, we'll make that into a 5 and we'll discard that 6. So we have 375 radians per second. Notice that A is larger than omega n, and if A is larger than omega n, we have an overdamped situation. When you have an overdamped situation, you have to use this formula. And this formula is carefully derived using second order differential equations. Let's go ahead and start to fill it in. We have the current is equal to our voltage source, which is 75.4, over 2 times j omega d l. Now, let's find what omega d is and where that j is coming from. You'll find out very soon that that j represents an imaginary unit. And here's why. We have omega d is equal to the square root of what I found omega n to be, which is 375 squared minus, instead of the square root of raised it to a power of half, the same thing, 750 squared. If I use my calculator, I'll end up with an error, and here's why. This number is less than this number, and square rooting a negative number does not give you a real number. So let's find out what the answer should be. 375 squared minus 750 squared gives us this number. And if we square root that, our calculator will go insane and say that there's a math error, rightfully so. So how do I change the number that I found, this one, into an imaginary number? Well, I'm going to take its absolute and square root that instead. So I have 421,875, the square root of 421,875 gives us 649. 649 times our imaginary unit, which I'll represent by the letter J. So I'll take 649J and replace it with where I see omega D in our formula. So I have J times J, 
And if you recall, j is equal to the square root of negative 1. If I multiply the square root of negative 1 twice, I'll end up with simply negative 1, the radicand. So I have 2 times negative 1 times 649 times my inductance, which is 1.50 Henry's. All four of these factors are being multiplied. So let's go ahead and find out what that is. 75.4 divided by 2 times negative 1 times 649 times 1.50. This gives us a very small number, negative 0 0.0387. So I have i is equal to negative 0 0.0387. I still have all of this left. Let's focus on this part next. We multiply this number by e to the power of negative 750 plus j times omega d, which is 649j. 649j. This is then all multiplied to t. What does this simplify to? We have negative 750 and two j's, which we know is equal to negative. So we have negative 750 minus 649. Negative 750 minus 649, which gives us negative 1,399. So this whole expression becomes e to the power of negative 1,399 times t. Let's give this term the same treatment. So we're going to subtract what we found minus e to the power of negative 750. Placing this j into there makes it negative 649. Negative 649 times negative means that it's positive 649 times t. This now becomes, let's use our calculator, negative 750 plus 649 and we end up with the exponent negative 101 times t. So this becomes e to the power of negative 101 times t. Let's put this all together. It's getting confusing. We have i is equal to negative 0 0.0387 square bracket e to the power of negative 1399t minus e to the power of negative 101t and the units here are in amperes. Now, if you want to make this look nicer and you don't want small numbers at the front, you can convert it into milliamps. If you do convert it into milliamps, this becomes negative 38.7 times this exact same expression. And interestingly, if you plot this equation, you'll end up with a curve that looks like this. This is what the current in overdamped RLC circuits look like. And there you have it. That is how to calculate instantaneous current in an overdamped RLC circuit.